Hi, my name is Sara, and I welcome you to watch this short video about learning outcomes. In this video, I will explain what learning outcomes are in the context of higher education and give guidance on how to write them. As you may already know, learning outcomes can be written at a range of levels. For example, at the university, discipline, program or course level. The emphasis in this video will be on writing learning outcomes for a course. Let's start with the definition of learning outcomes. Learning outcomes are statements of what students are expected to know, understand or be able to do at the end of a process of learning. They are usually demonstrated as knowledge, skills and attitudes and they aim to make more visible what it is we want our students to learn. The learning outcomes of a course, once they are realized, correspond to the student's competencies. Competencies are a dynamic combination of knowledge, understanding, skills and abilities. They consist of two groups, subject-specific competencies and genetic competencies. The reason we write learning outcomes for our courses is to increase their visibility for students, so they will know what is expected of them and thereby be helped in learning and in improve the results of their learning. In addition, learning outcomes will help you to communicate your expectations clearly and can help guide your decision regarding your teaching and learning activities and assessments. While you are defining learning outcomes for your course, you should keep in mind that they should be in line with the teaching and learning activities and with the assessment of learning. Learning outcomes are particularly important in constructive alignment as they create the foundation for the other two components. In practice, this means that you should select teaching and learning activities that will help students achieve the learning outcomes. You should also link the learning outcomes to the assessment so that the students will understand how the learning outcomes are going to be assessed. If we define specific learning outcomes for a course, we must also be able to assess how well they have been achieved. In the literature, there is a great deal of information on what is considered best practice when writing learning outcomes, and various attempts have been made to describe and categorize what students should be able to do as a result of learning. In this video, we want to focus on more general guidelines for writing learning outcomes, and this is why we chose to introduce you to the SMART criteria. Next, I will explain how to write SMART learning outcomes. Specific. Be specific when writing learning outcomes. They should be written in language that is understandable to students and clearly state the knowledge, skills and attitudes that students will be able to demonstrate upon successful completion of the course. Measurable. Good learning outcomes can be measured through assessment. They should be written in the way that indicates how the learning will be assessed. This will prepare the students for the assessment and help them feel engaged. Attainable. Learning outcomes need to be attainable. For example, consider is it possible for the students to achieve the outcomes within time and resources available. Relevant. Learning outcomes should not be created in isolation. You should consider the learning outcomes you are writing in relation to those of other courses in the program. Ensure that the outcomes of the course relate to the overall outcomes of the program. Time bound. What is the time scale with which the outcomes are to be achieved? Time bound learning outcomes build internal accountability and commitment. Here are some additional tips for writing good learning outcomes. Firstly, we recommend that you aim for between 5 and 8 learning outcomes per course. The number of learning outcomes is of course dependent on the size of the course. 
From time to time, it is good to consider if the learning outcomes are still up to date and in line with the overall outcomes of the program. You should also be patient. Writing good learning outcomes is often a challenging task that takes practice, and this is why we also recommend seeking assistance from others. Writing learning outcomes together with your colleagues or students can be very rewarding. Finally, we would like to remind you that writing learning outcomes is not an exact science. Learning outcomes should be used flexibly to guide rather than dictate student learning and curriculum development. A good teacher recognizes unplanned learning outcomes also, which are extremely important in the educational process and can encourage deep learning in students. Thank you for watching this video.